All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we have Mazumitu, our controller champ, back again. And we're going to see how many coppers it takes to beat our controller champ here. We're going to be starting off with a 1v1. If Mazumitu wins against the 1v1, then we'll go to a 1v2. If he wins there, we'll go to a 1v3 and etc. until he loses. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys follow Mazumitu with his socials linked down below in the description. Make sure you guys are already subscribed to the channel. Turn those post notifications on so they don't miss any other videos like this. And let's hop straight into round number one. All right, here we go. Our copper player here, the first one, going to be trying to take out Mazumitsu here in the first round. It's probably pretty unlikely to happen. I think we're going to need a lot of copper players to take down Mazumitsu here. I don't know if you guys watched my two, co uh, two controller champs first three of every rank video, but Mazumitsu performed absolutely amazing in that video. And no doubt he's going to here and well what did i say the c4 comes out and takes out the zofia so round number one of the 1v1 goes to mazumitsu we're going to move on to round number two and we're going to bump things up a little bit mazumitsu is going to have to successfully 1v2 all right here we go lion scans are going to go out in this round we're going to have lion have a teammate with him and we'll see if that's what they need to clutch out this round. I don't know if Mazumitsu knows this, but there actually is Rex Trex right now on the bottom of main stairs. He's just going to be heading straight to site. And honestly, he could take this and plant as Mazumitsu is currently off site. And I don't think he knows that Rex is inside of site planting at the moment. Alliance scan is going to go out and that's going to freeze Mazumitsu inside of meeting. And that guarantees the plant for Rex. So Mazumitsu is on the clock now. He's got to frantically... Get on site and figure out exactly where it's been planted. No rotates either. So it's going to be very difficult for him to take this lion inside of freezer right now. But Mazumitsu is going to swing. He does a lot of damage, but he gets taken out against two coppers. Wow, GG's. Mazumitsu. Not cutting it. All right, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to adjust the video a little bit here. Mazumitsu lost our second round in. That is not good. We're actually going to change this video a little bit because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more entertaining if we just have it to where Mazumitsu has to successfully 1v2 before he can move on to the 1v3. And he's got to do it before he potentially loses this game on Oregon here as the, the coppers already have one round here. And remember, whoever gets the four first wins. So Mazumitsu doing his best here to, to try and lock out this game. Rex is already on the bottom of main stairs here. And it looks like Buck, his teammate, is possibly AFK inside of sight. I'm not really sure what he's doing. All right, Rex Trex now going to get taken out by Mazumitsu here. This is exactly what we wanted to see. He's going to take out the Osa, pushing the front side right now. And now Buck going to be trying to push through Freezer. And let's see. It looks like he's lagging a little bit. He's going to stand in place now. Mazumitsu still on site. Just waiting to figure out where exactly Buck is going to push from. And that's going to be from the freezer side right now. But Mazumitsu actually does have the cam. So he's going to get on that and start wall banging into freezer. But the shots will miss from both players now. Now Buck still does have two drones that he could use. But it's not going to matter as Mazumitsu is going to take him out. And here we go. Moving on to the 1v3. All right, Mazumitsu already inside of the building now. He's going to be playing on attack for the first time here on Oregon against our three coppers. And he just saw Mozzie inside of Shower Hall and he hears Thorn on the white stairs. He's going to grab that first kill. He's going to grab the second as well. And very quickly, things are now at a 1v1. Mazumitsu going to be trying to use his nades to possibly grab this third and final kill from below here. He's definitely wanting to move on to this 1v4. Let's see now. Rushstruck inside of Dorms Hall. Going to be trying to rotate into Attic and hold the site as... He thinks that Mazumitsu might be pushing over from Attic, but he is indeed not. He's actually going to be pushing over from the trophy side. But with that cam spotting him out, he's going to actually rotate towards white. And, well, it really won't matter for Rex. Is all he's got to do is pivot where he's looking at. Minute and 40 seconds left now. So plenty of time for Mazumitsu to make a play here. And no head holes on the game's wall. And it looks like Rex has no idea that Mazumitsu is directly behind him. And ladies and gentlemen, Mazumitsu now taking out three of our coppers. And we're moving on to the 1v4. All right, Mazumitsu back on the knock. And he's setting up his drones right now to 
possibly push in through bunker trying to gather as much information as he can right now and there are now four copper players this is going to be a lot of utility for mazumitsu to get through here he's going to start off by trying to nade this door and possibly quickly rushing into ebox and that's going to work for him and no one's actually covering this rotate into sight so mazumitsu might be able to just vault this and go straight in we are going to see a couple players inside of freezer as well as someone in the front side but oh no mazumitsu goes down thorn will take him out and ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have another round in us here as we have to see if mazumitsu can bring this back to the 1v4 yeah mazumitsu even just said it in the chat now nah, 1v4 is gonna be crazy with the mirrors yeah that's really that's really the problem is the utility that mazumitsu has to go through when it's a 1v1 or 1v2 it's fine because they don't really have much time to set up but when there's four players they have a lot of time to set up and they have a lot of utility to place between them so it gets it gets to be very very difficult even just to enter the site all right we talked about all of the utility that mazumitsu will have to go through and he's going to try to bring some of that utility onto his side by choosing bravo and i actually really like this i think that's really smart so far he's able to hack some of these cams and gain himself a little bit more information and if he's able to grab some of these things like possibly the uh mozzies or the uh thorns that's going to be very very useful for him all right mazumitsu gonna repel on the kid's window and we're gonna see rose trying to swing that right now he's gonna take a lot of damage from mazumitsu and maza will be put onto about 90 hp so mozzie definitely not the one in the hp advantage coming out from that engagement here as he's gonna rotate back into attic trying to hold the window but Mazumitsu is long gone now as he's going to be trying to push back up towards the big window as he fully opens up the attic window now to try to scare off Rose from peeking it any further. Mazumitsu going to now be trying to repel on this big window but it looks like Torture is going to hear him there and they're going to be ready for this window push in. So Maz is going to be forced to fall off of that position and he's going from window to window right now just hoping he gets some some form of advantage here some form of an angle onto somebody but unfortunately for him he's not going to find it just yet gonna have to rotate over to the master balcony with only a minute left now he's really gonna have to start thinking about how he wants to take the bomb site as he still has four copper players to go through all right mazza now rotating back to the big window and 40 seconds left he's gonna have to go through four coppers as well as a mirror window and a frost map that are both on this window it actually looks like the mirror window is not here so it's going to make things a little bit easier for him but mira herself is there and well maz is not ready for the frost trap so he goes down and things are going to be tied up now three to three you know dapper where's dapper where the hell is dapper i'm talking to him and fucking in the recording i guess dapper he's gone all right, Mazumitsu once again going to be rotating over to this big window. This did give him so much trouble last round, but he's going to be trying to do this repel strat that he has, and we'll see if it works out for him. But for now, looks like he's going to rotate off and possibly try to push open this kid's window right now, or potentially even attic. Two minutes left, so he's got plenty of time to do whatever he wants to do, and Rose is going to waste their C4 very, very soon. I don't really know what that was about. Mazumitsu now hopped inside of Big Tower, He'll be able to open up these this attic wall and start pushing that if he would like to. And he's going to have to be careful though because Rose as well as Unhinged are both playing inside of attic. Here come the line of holes and Rose is going to be the first one to swing it or excuse me Unhinged. And they will go down the thorn swinging a little bit too wide in attic and he will get punished for that now. Rose is going to try to push up back to pit and retake his teammate's position. As Mazumitsu now is going to completely rotate off of Attic. All right, Mazumitsu on the big window will find the kill onto the Warden player. So now it's a 1v2 of the Torture all the way back inside of Dorms. Definitely on some Coconut Raw stuff right here. I'm not even really sure how he's in this position, but Mazumitsu is going to invert repel. And it looks like Torture might actually be able to get an angle onto him if he's not careful. But Mazumitsu just going to be using that as an opportunity to shoot out the frost mat and he's going to be trying to silently rotate back over to possibly the satellite window here as the satellite window is already open he's going to use this to his advantage he's going to hop straight in you will have to be careful of these capkin traps as well as torture who is still close 
on Ola right now. Mazumitu pushing up. He's not sure where he hears the frost, but the frost is close. The flashbangs come out though, and that'll blind both players as Mazumitu walks in blind and torture having that flashbang fade away. We'll see Mazumitu walk in and take him out now. So the coppers on match point, ladies and gentlemen, if the four coppers beat Mazumitsu here, it is done. All right, Mazumitsu going to be going for this spawn peak. And Amaro is out there right now, but he's going to narrowly miss the shot. So Rose is going to escape with their life now as they try to rotate over towards the kid's window. And well, it looks like he's going to be able to Amaro straight into dorms right now. And Rose inside of sight. Mazumitsu definitely not prepared for that, but he is prepared for torture who's below. He'll take out the buck, but is he ready for Amaro who's in sight? No, he is not. And ladies and gentlemen, that is GG. Four coppers could beat one controller champ. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed. Follow Mazumitsu with his socials linked down below in the description. Consider joining Six Shot Academy to come play ranked with me tonight. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.